our relationship together as a team. You know, we were more united. You know, we're all chasing the same goal. Uh, last year was a little new for us, you know, new staff, new players, new everything in general. But I feel like we all like together this year chasing that Super Bowl. And then myself, you know, I just been working on all aspects of my game and just in my life in general. So I just feel like I improved a lot and I'm just ready to showcase it. When you have to pull back the reins so much in preseason, Shane said it was not much of the playbook that you guys put on display in the preseason. What are you most eager to finally being able to show? Uh, just just how good our offense is, you know, how great um, our scheme is when Shane is dialing it up. I know preseason, you know, we didn't really open up the offense, but still got to execute. So that's still the plan, execute the, the game plan and just, just have fun. What are, what, are, what are your emotions like right now? I know you've waited this time, but what are your emotions going into such a big moment for you and this season getting up? You know, I'm excited. You know, first official game back um, with my guys and my teammates. So I'm definitely enjoying it. I'm excited, but. You know, I'm not trying to get too excited. I still got to prepare the right way and just get ready for this game. What should fans expect from you this year? Uh, just a, you know, uh, I don't really know, honestly. I don't, whatever they expect, honestly. I, I know what I got set for myself. You know, I'm trying to achieve certain things for myself. Get more hunger so. though from last year. Yeah, yeah, for sure. You know, um, I want to win. So whatever I got to do to do that, you know, I'm, I'm gonna do it. And how do you handle the moments so well? Your teammates say like they admire the fact that you're very cool and the pressure. No, honestly, I just see it like just trying to be prepared. You know, if you if you're prepared, you expect you know what's gonna happen. You should know what's gonna happen. Uh, anything shouldn't really surprise you. So just you know, getting your mind right and just staying calm. And you know, you can't really you know work out certain things when your your emotions are involved too much. So I just try to stay calm and just you know let it be. What, what, is, what, what is the pressure? How do you describe the pressure of being a franchise quarterback when you're highly drafted and expectations and all that? Stuff? I mean. I, as a you know the franchise guy, you know people are expecting you to win and do great things. So, you know that's 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 some pressure right there on itself. You know winning, trying to win. You know things don't go your way. You can't let it you know roll over like that. So you just got to make sure you focus and you know not let the outside expectations take control. What do you remember of the Houston game last year? Uh, which one? The one you played in. I mean, almost everything, honestly, because I you know, I watched the film. I was involved in that game, so um, I just remember us, you know, being on point as an offense. So that's really our game plan, you know, this time. And then the second game we played them, you know, pretty much the same thing. We just got to execute our offense and just play. As far as being the franchise guy, I see the pressure. You go downtown, you see your picture on the side of the JW Marriott. Is that still sort of kind of crazy to see you and a couple of your guys up there? Yeah, for sure. You know. Um, I'm not really into all the, you know, flash and glamour and stuff like that, but I definitely appreciate the support, you know, and seeing myself on the side of a building, you know, it's pretty cool because, you know, you're not used to seeing stuff like that, but, you know, I try not to focus too much on stuff like that and just try to do my job. How big of a moment is it for you guys, just as far as a team, to start the season at home against a division opponent? How big of an opportunity is it for you guys? Uh, it's a big one, honestly, because we're just trying to win. You know, we got to protect home. That's the main thing. We're not trying to think about any other, other thing, like, like opponent or who it is, we just trying to win. You know, each game and every game, and we just trying to treat it like that, especially at home. Anthony, you talk with CJ this week? No, sir, <laughs> I haven't. <laughs> what's it gonna What's it gonna be like going up against you know a guy like him who had a, such a great rookie season? We know him well, drafted together. Take us through that. You know, it's always good to see him. You know, uh, every time I see him, I've, I he was actually one of my like close friends at the Elite Eleven camp in high school, so uh, it felt pretty good. You know. Um, just seeing him ball out, and then also just seeing him ball out last year. I always tell him he's a dog and he's a go getter. So uh, it's always good to see him. But you know, we both trying to you know achieve one thing, and that's win. I know it's bigger than two of you, but did, do you think that could be a fun rivalry over here? Oh yeah, for sure. You know, um, he got picked two spots ahead of me. You know, um, and he's in our division, so it's like I gotta, I gotta, you know, do better than him because. You know, it's it's some type of tension right there. So we just gotta, you know, just ball out and, and just win, and just not even worry about the rivalry or whatever. How much respect do you have to have for what Houston wants to do defensively? I mean, you just gotta respect them in general. You know, they have a great squad. They want to pick up some great guys, but we can't let that, you know, take away the fact that we've been preparing as well. We've been working on our stuff. So, you know, it's gonna be a good game. Chris Ballard mentioned how this is a good team. You've been a quarterback. You've been around these guys for the past couple of months. How do you feel about where you guys are in this team going into the season? You know, I feel good. You know, our main thing has just been, you know, prepping for, you know, this upcoming season, not just one necessary game. But, you know, I feel good about my squad. You know, I'm loving my team, and I'm loving, you know, all the work the guys put in. I'm just ready to get back on the field with them. Anthony, piggybacking on what Holder asked you about guys 
admire how you lock in and tough pressure situations. Um, I watched you warm up a lot in camp, and, and you're much better in games. You're much better seven on seven than you are just warming up sometimes. What, is that part of it? Do you just, is there something about you that locks in the bigger the stakes? I mean, not necessarily. Uh, warming up is warming up. <laughs> you know, uh, you're just trying to get on point. So when it is time to go out there and necessarily play in a, a period like that, like seven on seven or in a game, you know, you're ready. So. I don't even against air, against air, you would be sometimes. You're better against defenders than air. Like. I mean, like it's still warming up, you know. I'm still trying to get my arm, you know, going for the day. And then when, when I, it is easier to throw against like defenders out there because, like, they, they show you where to place the ball instead of necessarily trying to figure it out while you're on air. So I guess it's that. Yeah, for sure. Uh, after I heard about it, I texted him. Uh, obviously, he was dealing with what he was dealing with, so he didn't respond that next, that next day. Uh, but the next morning, I definitely made sure I talked to him on the phone. Now, that's my guy. Uh, we've been rocking together since college, so you know I had to check on my dude. But he's all good, though, and I talked to him. He said he's going to be back this year. That's a great way to start the season, first of all. Houston coming in, really good team, high expectations for them. Uh, they won the, the conference or the division last year, so... Um, you know, just for us, uh, kind of get a chance to come back and play them again. Like it was what, the same as that game we finished with last year. Um, you know, we didn't finish the way we wanted to, so another way to kind of get some redemption in that matter. You guys haven't won an opener in a long, long time. Do y'all think about that at all? I mean, just as far as just trying to get it off to a good start this year? No, nah, we don't. I don't. We not, don't necessarily think about that. I mean, I guess the first I heard of that is, is right now, and I think from the last year. You know, you guys are the ones that remind us every year. So. Um, you know, it's definitely it's definitely super important to have a good start and win the first game. Um, so it is important in that matter. But you know, the past is the past, and we're just it's a fresh year. Um, we're coming out here trying to win the game because we want to start one and zero as our team, 2024 Colts. Yeah. How much are you looking forward to playing with a guy over to your right in AR and just having him out, yeah. ready to go this upcoming season? It's gonna be awesome. It's gonna be fun. You know, he's super talented, super exciting quarterback. Uh, you can just even looking back, like we've been watching some of the film. Um, and like when we played Houston last year, like it's just he was he was making plays out there. So it'll be fun to play for, play with him. You know he's a guy who can make all the throws, can make us better as receivers, and it's just an offense in whole. Knowing how the level of talent that you guys have at the receiver position, like what's your mindset knowing that you know it's like you get t playing time, you, you gotta have to deliver. I would think, right? For sure, for sure. You you know like we got a lot of guys that can contribute in there. So. Um, we just got to, you know, when you get your opportunities, like the ball, there's only one ball, so it's got to, you know, have to be spread around. But when you get your opportunities, you're going to have to make the most of them and make those plays. Yeah, what's your level of confidence as far as you as a player? Just how are you doing right now? Yeah, I'm feeling great. You know, I'm coming into the season healthy, fully firing on all cylinders, so I'm ready to go for a big year. Thanks, man. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I mean, I think our roster's gotten better um, top to bottom. I think having a lot of key pieces back, um, obviously free agent signed back, and um, you know, we look back at what we did last year, uh, the growth that we, we made throughout the year. I think uh, just continuing to transfer into you know April, uh, we carried it in through training camp and just getting better. Um, you know, playing with each other more. Uh, the more times we can give to each other, I think we're, we're better off. And uh, I know this team's got a high expectation, so um, starts today, and uh, I know we're excited for we're excited for Sunday. Zaire mentioned that this is probably the closest team that he's been a part of since he's been here. You are the most tenured Colt. Mm -hmm. How does this compare maybe to teams that you've been a part of or what is unique about this group and what you feel going into week one? Yeah, I would agree. I think it's, um, you know, sp special about the, the Colts is I think, you know, the, the way that we, um, our philosophy is, is the draft and kind of build it from within. And I think if you all see um, a lot of the key players and, you know, some older guys um, or guys that you were drafted you know, a handful of years ago and, um, young guys start to make contributions as well. And so I think that, that um, ultimately is easier to make a team off that, right? And I think that these guys, um, including myself, you know, been through a little bit of ups and downs the last, you know, six, seven years. And um, to see how close we came last year and then to see that the, the team that we keep building on, um, the foundation that we're building on, I think it's, it's exciting. And um, the time's now. When you have all that continuity and you get to open the season at home, how much is there in terms of capitalizing on that opportunity that you have to start the season on the right foot, set that tone for what you want to accomplish? Yeah, it's huge for us. I mean, AFC South, um, opponent week one at home, um, and you couldn't ask for a better situation, right? I think it's, um, you know, to have Lucas Oil rocking and, and, you know, to be so close last year um, to where we wanted to go. Um, not that it's a redemption game, it's always the next one, um, but it's, it's a fresh start to this team um, and, and how we want to get off on the season, how we want to get off 
um, going forward and playing great ball into November, December, um, and project our season the way we want to. Brian. Something about Shane from the time he walked in the door to now, he's the same guy, day in and day out. Expectations are very clear. He's always very level. But what is something maybe that you notice now about Shane going into a second season, maybe different or, or more of from last year? Yeah, I think it's, you know, first. You know, the first year is always setting expectations for guys. Um, and I think the second thing is, is holding them to it. Um, so I think, you know, you're starting to see that a lot more. Um, just seeing, you know, the relationship between him and players, um, trusting them to grow, trusting them to be leaders and empowering them to go do that, uh, I think is, is, is awesome. And I think, you know, he's never going to settle on how he sees your potential. So I think that's always pushing you to be better, um, pushing us to be a better offense, a better team, um, you know, and I think that's really special to have in a head coach. Speaking of trust in players, how much do you trust your quarterback going into a second season with what he's been able to put together over the course of camp in the preseason? Yeah, I tell you, I mean, the, the growth he showed uh, since last year, I mean, the, the mental aspect on the field, the physical aspect, um, he looks great. You know, he's commanding the huddle. Um, that's everything you want to see going into week one. Baby, baby watch underway. Baby watch is fishing underway, so, yeah, we're, we're getting there. We're getting there. We're getting real, real tied to the, uh, to the end, so any day now. His first game, Anthony, is against the Texans last year. I mean, do you think that was a, just a quick snapshot of what a Colts offense led by Anthony Richardson can be with two quick touchdowns, him running all over the place? Yeah, I mean, um, I think, you know, we, we played pretty well that game, and, uh, you know, ultimately got cut short a little bit, you know, so uh, weren't able to see the full fruition of what that, what that could have been. But um, I think the evolution of that offense continue to keep going is at least up front um, and in the receiver room, the running back room. I think what we did is establish the run game. Um, and I think then you throw him back into it, um, you know, where he adds his level of expertise in the run game and what he can do in his legs, what he can do with his arm. Um, you know, upgraded the receiver room, the tight end room. Uh, I think it's going to be a scary year. Just looking for a chance to right or wrong. You know what I mean? Obviously, uh, the Week 18 game, um, it was tough. It was something to deal with. Uh, had to grow through it, learn through it, but we got an opportunity to um, get our get back um, early on and uh, play a division opponent early and open up the season 1 0. Same quarterback that you saw last year, but different availability in terms of the wealth of weapons that you have within this offense with guys who are just healthy, who aren't available in week 18, new additions to their roster. What's the biggest difference you see offensively for them? Um, I think, you know, just with a year of experience, mm -hmm. obviously, uh, with a playoff run. Um, you know, this is going to come with confidence. It's going to come with um, a different level of swagger. Um, obviously, uh, they got a talented young quarterback um, who has an extremely bright future in this league, and, uh, you know, we got to do our best to contain them. How, how good is, how good is it? All with the, like, you were talking in the offseason with the Chris Long podcast. Uh, mm -hmm. had some words for him. Do, do you carry – I don't know if the word is bitterness or it would be something else, or it's just a normal rivalry in the NFL. How would you describe it? You, su you subscribe to my podcast? No, I'm messing with you. <laughs> but, uh, no, um, <laughs> Uh, listen, uh, he's a good dude. CJ's a good kid. Uh, we've had a chance to meet and hang out. Well, not hang out, but interact a few times. Uh, so it's nothing but love for him. But um, in between the white lines is an entirely different story. So, How good is it for yourself and this defense to go up against a guy like CJ and their offense um, for week one? I mean, to me, honestly, every, t every week is a different test. Every week is a different challenge. Uh, of course, Houston has weapons. They have big names, USA, but... Every team has big names. Um, every team has the top receiver, somebody that's getting paid, somebody that was a pro bowler or whatever it is. Um, so every week is just a different challenge. So nameless, uh, faceless opponent, opponents, and uh, we're going to put our defense on, the, on display on Sunday. You, you talked about Stroud being a bright or, or the young quarterback with a bright future. Is that sort of what your guy is? Oh, yeah, I know that. But uh, it's time for the world to find out. So. What are your what are your expectations of him? I mean, I know you're locked in on defense, but what's with him? Um, man, uh, for Anthony, uh, I know it's just one play at a time, one snap at a time. Um, just looking forward to him and the rest of the offense being able to put the immense amount of work that they put in this offseason on display, um, just from everything that they've done together in the building, outside of the building. Um, it just showed up every single day competing against them, that chemistry. Um, you know, we got our own wealth of weapons. Um, so we're going to see who wins. So. The GM Chris Ballard has a lot of praise for the team in itself as far as likes where you guys are. You've been around these guys the last two months. What do you appreciate about this squad right now as you get into the upcoming season? Man, one thing I will say is uh, uh, I, I haven't been on a team in a long time that's as close as this team is. Um, and that started back in the spring. Um, you know, just even when it was 90 guys on the team, it was just – 
you know, man to man, it was just, you know, everybody just had a real relationship with each other, um, a, a real bond. Everybody's playing for each other. Everybody's pushing each other. Um, and I think that just speaks volumes to the culture that uh, Shane has set um, and continues to set every single day. Um, he sets that standard. He holds that accountability. Um, and everybody does nothing but raise up to that level. Um, so um, I definitely love our group, and I really do. Um, and I think, you know, I'm, I'm looking forward to us earning, earning the right to be considered um, one of the best teams in the league this year. A big part of that group is Nick Cross. Um, earned the starting job on the back end. I guess how much trust do you have in him to, I guess, seize his opportunity? Oh, man, young Nick. Uh, you know, it's funny. Uh, Kenny said something to me uh, a couple weeks ago, and he was like, uh, he said he remembered back when he was, he was the guy that with all the questions. <laughs> remember back when they were questioning whether 42 could make it or 4 23 was the, was the guy that we could trust every down and you know now he's considered the best in the world of what he does so um at some point we all had questions of whether we was the guy um so i'm looking forward to that nick answering those questions and no matter what i told him i got his back regardless so, um i'm looking forward to a good game from him as well any message any message at all to these fans i mean week one at home division opponent any message um i mean a lot has been said um, specifically about our city. Um, so I'm looking forward to Indianapolis responding on Sunday. So. See, how much money are you hoping to raise for Hunger this year? And why was that important cost for you? Oh, man, I think I'm going to go broke, um, to be honest with you. Um, but, man, uh, to be honest with you, uh, you know, just thinking, you know, how can I really help truly impact this team? How can I help truly impact the community of Indianapolis, um, you know, with the Walter Payton Man of the Year uh, experience? my chance to meet and learn from so many other great uh, uh, men in, in the NFL. I, mean, you know, I was just thinking, how can I do something to, to go bigger? Um, and what bigger way to do it and to contribute something and uh, work toward, that helps me work towards my goals as well. So I'm um, just looking forward to being able to impact the Indianapolis community in a positive way. Um, and like I said, I hope I run out. You know what I mean? So we'll see. Finally, we have a game to talk about because so much of the offseason is just about the continuity that there is within this locker room. I asked Jonathan about this a couple weeks ago, and he said it's on us to make that continuity an advantage. What do you guys have to do to capitalize on the fact that so many of you guys were invested in to be brought back to retain your own and go into 2024 with the same core group that you guys have had? Oh, man. Uh, you know, I think – I think we all just got to be who we say we are, you know. Um, everybody's coming in with the name. Everybody's coming in with expectations. Everybody's coming in with a reputation. But in this league, you are what you put on tape. Um, so go out there and be who you said you was going to be. Go out here and be who everybody expects you to be, who, who the team needs you to be. And um, I know if we all do that, we'll come out victorious. Uh, will Josh Downs be up for practice? Uh, he will not practice today. Is this guy still up? Yeah, we'll see. He's progressing really well, though. I'll say that. What do you see from Eddie Mitchell just in his time filling in in that slot role so far? Yeah, he's done a hell of a job for us. Uh, obviously, uh, getting him in the draft, great get by Chris, getting him in the draft. But we talked about early uh, that one-on-one -on -one explosiveness that he brings um, is big for our football team. So he's done a nice job there. And like I said, we can put our guys wherever, you know, in the slot, outside. We move those guys around uh, by game plan. So we're excited to have them, though. Jay, yes. Jay, in what way is Anthony a more advanced quarterback going into the openers than he was last year? I think going through the process of a full off season, you know, obviously rookie year, you got a lot of things going on, uh, but knowing how it works, uh, the operation within a season going into week one, we were just talking about in the QB room, just how much goes into it week in and week out uh, with game planning and repetition and walkthroughs and practice and all the preparation that goes into it, uh, it's a big deal. So uh, I, I feel really excited for him going into this thing. Um, he's attacked it the right way. Uh, so really looking forward to him uh, on Sunday. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Well, we're going to find out on Sunday. I'll say that. Um, so we'll see. Um, our guys are ready. I'm sure Houston guys are ready. Um, but obviously, there'll be some unknowns uh, going into Sunday for sure. Did you see a ton of touchbacks? Possibly. We'll see. How does game playing adjust with them sort of being the most recent team you played with, technically being last? Say that again. How's the game plan adjust yeah, with? So those are the most recent team you played, but how much? 
Yeah, I mean, you, you try to go through the whole season, right? Obviously, the games after they played, playoff games that they played, different looks they did. I'm sure they're going to have some new stuff for us, you know, offensively and defensively, just like we'll have some new stuff. Um, like I said, we got to adjust those things on the sideline quickly, um, but we got to put our guys in position to go make plays for sure. Shane, you would feel a lot better feel on Matt Gay. Um, he won't practice today, um, but we'll see how the week progresses. Is today normally a kicking day for him? Correct, yeah. Shay, how, how big of an opportunity is it for your team to start the season off at home in front of your fans against the division opponent? It's huge. Uh, to get a week one game at home, division opponent, like you said, uh, is huge. You know, you want to win division games, you want to win a division championship. It starts in the division, and we got one at home right off the bat. Um, so it'll be a heck of a challenge. It's a good football team we're playing, uh, but I know our guys will be geared up and ready to roll on Sunday. Did, did Matt get hurt like last week? Um, it happened after Cincinnati, weekend after Cincinnati. Yeah. Shane, a game like this where your secondary is inexperienced, how much do you lean on that D-line knowing how much you guys can trust it? You lean on them a lot. Obviously, it starts up front on both sides of the football, but we got to get those guys rushing the quarterback. Obviously, C.J. Stroud's a hell of a football player. Uh, we got to get pressure on them for sure. Um, but I feel good about our corners. I feel good about the safeties. Uh, those guys are going to go compete and go make plays. And if we get the rush there and we got tight coverage, you know what I mean? It's going to help on the back end for sure. What has Layatu shown you over the last couple months that tells you he's ready for the moment Sunday? I think the way he's prepared, the way he came in, he came in pro ready, uh, the way he's worked, the way he goes about his business. He's in early, he's here late. He works after practice. He's always in the defensive line room watching film. Um, so you want that in a young player, uh, that preparation piece. So I'm really looking forward to him uh, on Sunday as well. Shane, that first game against the Texans last year when Anthony played, he was maybe when he looked his most efficient in those first couple games. What do you think it was about I don't know, his approach or what you guys were able to scheme up for and that enabled him to look so good? I mean, you go into every game plan, you know, wanting success uh, week in and week out. And obviously, he was playing really well in that game. Um, he did a lot of good things. Um, so we want that to carry over, obviously, into this season and just week by week progressively get better week in and week out. And that's the goal Shane, that we want to get done. Early last, early last season, when you were new, your scheme was new and all that, um, you know, quarterback. So you had some element of surprise, maybe, against opponents. Do you lose a lot of that now? Because it that Anthony didn't play that much. I don't know. Maybe it's uh, no, I, we'll see. Obviously, um, you know, we have our system, but obviously you want to add wrinkles to it, and I'm not going to dive into a whole bunch of scheme stuff, as you guys know. Um, but we're excited for the challenge, for sure. I did not. That's awesome. What did that say about Mandy's character? Huge, huge character. We preach character, number one, preparation, consistency, and being relentless. And that's the character that he has. Um, he's always out in the community uh, doing things for the community, helping out. Um, and he's a leader on our football team. He's got that C on his chest for a reason. So that's a big time deal uh, for him, for sure. How different is this with a healthy and happy JT early in the season for you? Uh, it's awesome. He's a hell of a he's a hell of a runner. We know that, um, and so to get him week one rolling off season program training camp, uh, what he's able to do uh, for a football team this year is going to be huge. How much does facing Diggs, Collins, Dell give you a good barometer of where this defensive backfield is? Yeah, it's a good question. I mean, they're talented on the outside. You just hit all three of those guys, um, and obviously they added Joe Mixon as well and Schultz, the tight end. So they got a lot of weapons. Um, so it's going to be a hell of a challenge uh, for us week one but one we're looking forward to because um, those guys can run. They can come in and out of breaks. Uh, we got to be all over it, uh, film study, what they're doing formationally, uh, and we go from there. With Matt Gay, is there any worries long term? Uh, I, I know. And just to clarify that, uh, he has a hernia. Um, so that's where it's at. But it's I don't see it long term, no. Kicking leg hernia? Um, I, I'm not going to get into the details on that one. Yeah, surgery? Uh, I'm not going to go into details on that. Hey, uh, one last thing, just uh, C.J. Stroud, I mean, obviously, I know you, you know, study you know, the other team's offense, but just when you, when you watch him just on a surface level, what's the thing that, that sticks out? I think the way he sees the game. I mean, the best quarterbacks around the league have just a great feel, and the way he progresses through his reads and gets the ball out quick, it's, it's, it's pretty impressive. And the way he moves in the pocket, I mean, he looks to stay in, move around, boom, and make these big-time throws down the field or the checkdowns. 
Um, so, like I said, it'll be a heck of a challenge. He's a really good player. They got a lot of guys, a lot of skill guys on offense. Um, but I know our guys will be ready. I think it was the consistency through camp. You know, he made a lot of plays for us, um, which was exciting to see. So I'm looking forward to his opportunity to go make some plays on Sunday. I think his potential is high. Um, he made a lot of plays in training camp. We got to carry that over in the season. Um, and he's got speed. He can run. He made contestant catches all through training camp. And we need those to show up on Sunday for sure.